So this is the Garmin R10 launch monitor. By far one of the most popular launch monitors that's come out in recent years. And in today's video, we're gonna check out the Garmin Golf app to see how accurate it really is by comparing it to this professional $50,000 indoor golf simulator. So let's get to it. Before we do the test, there's four steps we need to do to help ensure that the Garmin R10 is the most accurate that we can make it. Now, the first thing you have to do is make sure that the Garmin R10 is up to date. One is through the Garmin Golf app. The Apple update software updates automatically behind the scenes when the Garmin R10 is connected to your mobile device. Now, the second way you can do this is using the Garmin Express program through your computer. Now, all you have to do is download it from the Garmin website and then connect your Garmin R10 to the software and it'll automatically update the software inside the Garmin R10 each time you connect to it. So once the Garmin R10 has been updated, the next thing you're gonna to want to do is to make sure that the unit is calibrated. Now, a lot of people don't calibrate the unit before each and time they use it, and it's really easy to do. So all you're gonna do is to go into the Garmin Golf app, go to device calibration, and then calibrate the Garmin R10. This usually takes anywhere between 30 seconds to a minute, and once calibrated, you know the Garmin R10 is internally ready to go. Once you have the Garmin R10 updated and the unit has been calibrated, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the Garmin R10 is set up in the right location. For indoor use, you're gonna to need to have the ball at least eight feet away from the net or screen. Now, 10 to 12 feet is usually recommended, which that means that the unit would be another six to eight feet from behind the ball. Garmin recommends that it's usually around seven feet to get the best information. So now that we know how to correctly set the Garmin R10 for indoor use, we're gonna do a little test. I'm gonna hit three clubs, my driver, my seven iron, and my pitching wedge. And we're gonna see how accurate the Garmin Golf app is when compared to this professional indoor golf simulator. So let's do this. On this first shot with the pitching wedge, the Garmin R10 showed a carry of 124 yards, while the simulator showed a carry of 129 yards. So about five yards. And to me, I feel that's pretty well within tolerance. On the second shot with the pitching wedge, the Garmin R10 showed a carry of 122 yards, while the sim showed a carry of 124 yards. So two yards. Now to me, that just blows me away. On this third shot, the Garmin R10 showed a carry of 119 yards, while the sim showed a carry of 123 yards. So a difference of four yards. I'm just amazed what this little unit can really do. But let's move on to the seven iron. On this first shot with the seven iron, the Garmin R10 showed a carry of 160 yards, while the sim showed a carry of 160.9 yards. So nine tenths of a yard of a difference. That is just crazy. On this second shot with the seven iron, the Garmin R10 showed a carry of 166 yards, while the sim showed a carry of 167 yards. So off by again, one yard. So, I mean, with the seven iron, this thing is really dialed in. On this third and final shot with the seven iron, the Garmin R10 showed a carry of 157 yards, while the sim showed a carry of 161 yards. So a difference of four yards, which is pretty impressive. Let's go ahead and move on to the driver. On this first shot with the driver, the Garmin R10 showed a carry of 211 yards, while the sim showed a carry of 229. Now a difference of 18 yards. Now the same problem I had before. So, you know, being off by 18 yards is way out of tolerance if you ask me. But let's go ahead and hit a second shot. On the second shot of the driver, the Garmin R10 showed a carry of 203 yards, while the sim showed a carry of 223.9. So a difference of, again, over 20 yards. And I'm starting to see a pattern here that I'm not liking. On this third and final shot, the Garmin R10 showed a carry of 220 yards, while the sim showed a carry of 237. So a difference of 17 yards. So it's not as bad as the first two, but again, way without of tolerance, which I feel should be within 10 yards. And I'm starting to see the same problem I had when I tested this out six months ago. That the Garmin app is still not showing accurate numbers when it comes to the higher swing speed of a driver while indoors. So to recap, with the pitching wedge, on average, the Garmin R10 showed a carry of 122 yards, while the simulator showed a carry of 125 yards on average. So a difference of about three yards. And to me, that's pretty impressive with the pitching wedge. Now we move on to the seven iron. The Garmin R10 showed an average carry of 161 yards while the sim showed a carry of 163 yards. So again, a difference of about two yards. I mean, with the irons, the Garmin app is pretty dialed in. But when we get to the driver, as you guys saw, the R10 showed an average carry of 211 while the sim showed a carry, average carry of 230. So a difference of about 20 yards. And to me, that's again, way out of tolerance. I feel that indoor, the Garmin app should be about 10 yards off when it comes to the driver. And now when I've used other apps such as the E6 or the Awesome Golf, it's way more dialed in. And yes, during this test, I was using the RCT balls, so it should be accounting for that as well. So I'm not really quite sure why the Garmin app is still off by at least 20 yards indoors with a driver. So I do hope that Garmin does update the app soon so that the driver does become more accurate 
when it comes to the driver. So big thanks to our friends at Indoor Golf Design for letting us use an amazing professional indoor golf simulator. To be honest, I'm just blown away by the Garmin R10. I mean, with the Garmin Golf app, using both the 7 iron and the pitching wedge, it's within about five yards. And to me, that's pretty amazing. However, I'm a little disappointed that after about six months, since the last time I tested this out, when it comes to the driver, it's off by about 20 yards. Now, to me, that's way out of tolerance. It should be really within about 10. Now, I am using the RCT balls, and when using both the Awesome Golf app and the E6 Connect app, they both are within the 10 yards. So I feel that the Garmin Golf app needs to be updated at some point to account for the higher swing speeds. Now, if you guys have found other ways to make the Garmin Golf app a little bit better, please comment down below because I would love to know how they do it. So I got my unit from our good friends at playbetter.com. They're huge supporters of the show and our community, so there's links down below where you can check out the Garmin R10. Now, if you want to see what we thought when we put the Garmin R10 against its biggest competitor, the Mevo Plus, then be sure to check out this video right here where we put it through the test. And I'll see you in the next video.